Hello and welcome to Let's Play Mega Maker. My name is Joe and I'm gonna play one or maybe more randomly selected level. Depends on their length. So let's see first one. And I really hope I could fix the camera a little bit because it was really really slow. Frame rate was horrible. And uh, also I increased the fra uh, the bitrate of the video because I realized that the face cam was really blurry. So hopefully it will be a little better, a little bit better. So the first level I'm gonna play is You Have 3 Second 2. Created by Little Fire. Played 32 times and the score is positive 6, which is really promising. So let's see this level. Oh, okay, so no, there is no boss. I kinda expected that. I know there is the icon there. What, who is the boss, but I usually don't pay attention. Okay, I see what is this all about. Hmm. Oh, oh okay. So this level is all about rushing through every room. Which is... which I don't mind. I mean, I like these kind of levels. So we will see. Oops, well, this is a really bad way to begin. <laughs> and my best was to get to the third room. Well, I'm pretty sure it will be a little bit better as I... Hmm, wait a minute. This wasn't good. Oops. That wasn't good. Oh, what? Wait, what? What? What else do I have? I didn't even check out my my selection of weapons. Oh, charge kick. That's the only one. That's, that's not so good. I was hoping at least I have shine or. Oh, oh, okay, I see, I just realized that the, the health pickups are for showing where to, where can I stand on, okay, I think at least, okay, that, that's useful to know, okay, I like this, hmm, oh, crap. Oh, okay. I see what to do there. <laughs> what if I go this way? I didn't even... Okay, maybe this this was a little bit easier path to go on. Ooh! Okay, now what? Hmm. That wasn't nice. That's the other way. Leads me there too. I'm not sure. Oh, the beam! It was a. I was just a little bit slower than I should have been. Let's see this one again. For some reason, Mega Man forgot to slide, and I pressed the button. You can see that. Oh, that was a little bit painful. I know there is a little a slightly delay with the face cam still, but uh, it's a little bit better than it was before. I'm sure if I would improve the lighting a little bit, that would help. Like this, just the problem is that the lighting kind of hurts my eyes. Okay. Oh shit. I was stupid because I, I should be able, I should have been able to jump vertically and Yeah the space is a little bit tight there, I mean one only one unit. 
one block. So even then it's a little bit challenging, but it can be done. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I like this path more than the other one. And basically it leads back to this this area, so it doesn't really matter uh, what I choose. It looks easier. I mean if you are fast enough you can do the other one too. It's not probably it's not that difficult, but the problem is this part. happened again. Sometimes I have a feeling that it doesn't register the input uh, correctly. Ah. Fuck. It was my mistake. But still. Ooh, finally, and I'm really, a I really appreciate the checkpoint over there. Okay, so ladders, and now what? Oh, I should have uh, fell down, I guess. And this is, this is one thing that I don't really like about Mega Maker yet. The, I would, if I would be the developer, I would definitely put some extra uh, tile set uh, tile sets in the game, like arrows and you know things that can indicate where to go. Yeah, because it's not not here. Ooh, that's again a little bit. Can I just... Oh, okay, I forgot. There are spikes on the ceiling in the next room, which means it kills me from the top. there. I'm a little bit confused because I thought I fell down there. Ooh. Okay. So I think I fell down there. I, I'm i not supposed to go there maybe? Or, or what? I'm not sure. And that's, that's also not the right path to go. Okay, so I am a little bit confused. Good news that um, the checkpoint is nearby, so... Okay, that, that, it's, it was definitely my mistake, so it, I clearly hit the spike. Um, no doubt about that. Ooh. Maybe I hit the left edge of that spike on the right spike, I'm not sure. I didn't uh, press any direction button, so I'm not uh, completely sure about that because I should fall down straight vertically, so I'm not sure what just happened. And again, I have no idea what happened here. Hmm. All right. Oh. Okay. That was my mistake again. I pressed the jump button at the wrong time. It wasn't one of those. It wasn't one of those uh, cases when I feel I felt like. Uh, it didn't register my input. 
All right. What the fuck am I supposed to do there? Now uh, this is my problem with Mega Maker sometimes. You cannot really tell the player where to go. No arrows or, or something. So it's a little bit annoying and I hope the, uh, the developer will... I have no idea. Where the fuck am I? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I'm confused. There is that little hole there. It looks logical that I need to go that way. However, I die. So what? Oh, really? Oh, I see. And I fucked it up, but at least I know what to do. Mm. This is sad. Maybe there were, there were spikes. <clears throat> I hesitated. Maybe there were spikes down there and I basically got some invulnerability time by hitting that auto battery or what is it called. I don't know. <clears throat> this is not good. Oh, wait. So then what's the... what's the deal? Maybe the auto battery shows where, where can I... Where can I stand, right? That would make sense. Okay, I think I got this. And I'm gonna reach the next checkpoint really soon. Ish. Other than these not that self explanatory things, um, I really enjoy this level. Simple concept, but, but fun. But uh, these things are something that I don't really like. The fact that level creator didn't correctly show the player where, where to go. Ooh, okay. I saw this coming. Oh, there is a Yoko blog there. Okay. Uh, that surprised me. However. Okay. Section is not that bad. Ooh, I was so close to the finish. wasn't so good. Yeah, so the Tioko block is not that necessary to use. What the fuck was that? <clears throat> it wasn't nice. Ooh, I was close. 
Okay, so I really, ho I really hate these glitchy, glitchy platforms. I really hope they will be able to fix this. I was clearly teleported to the bottom, or just a few blocks lower. And this is the end of this level. Yes. Alright. You have 3 seconds number 2 by Little Fire was a pretty good level. Uh, things that I don't really like about it that uh, sometimes it wasn't uh, self-explanatory where to go and what to do. Um, maybe maybe there should be... Uh, sometimes I use um, the conveyor belt to show where to go but uh, not uh, uh, on a place where you can actually jump on so between some blocks blocks and the conveyor belt shows left to right um, probably that would be helpful at least I would understand it because that's how I do maybe it wouldn't be that self-explanatory for others I don't know um, sometimes I use the the bomb, uh, bomb time um, bomb platforms um, to show where to go but it's again not an arrow so without an arrow it's a little bit mm, not that great because some players probably want to get where to go want to understand it so it's a, it's a thing that um, the creator of Mega Maker should fix have the ties set with useful ties um, actually that would be really good if they would add background ties because it's okay that they had they have that few nice full backgrounds but the problem is that they don't have a possibility to uh, I mean they don't have the game don't have the game doesn't have um, the editor uh, feature to, to put your background ties just like you can place your ties for platforms you should be able to place background ties so little pieces to, to draw a complete background like okay so for example and it's a little bit off topic because I played through the level maybe I didn't give it a thumbs up I'm sorry, I'm gonna look back and, um, and check out the ID. So this is, one, this is, okay, so these are the backgrounds and like these, uh, there should be separate 16 by 16 sized tiles, in my opinion. I would support that the most. Because these are really cool, but what can you do with them? Basically, they are fixed uh, backgrounds, you cannot really edit them. Instead, it would be great if you would, you would be able to place the background tiles like this. And maybe there should be a, a button to enable and disable the background. So you can see the foreground, the foreground I mean the walkable space and the background separately. Um, that's just an idea. I know it would, be, it would make the level files a lot bigger, maybe double the file size, but it's worth it. And back actually, the, the file size doubling. Um, I don't know if you if you checked out the checked out the level files in the text editor. You can see how unoptimized the whole thing is. So it's another thing that they should fix because it's really it's really unoptimized uh, at many parts and for example I, I made a level it was over one megabyte I made some editing in a text editor and I could reduce the size to 700 kilobytes and the level still worked perfectly so that that that's it that's it um, now actually I wanna find this level and Give it a thumbs up on screen, just to be sure. Okay. Oh, sorry. 
So what was the title again? You have three seconds. Oh come on, what am I doing? <laughs> you have three seconds. Ooh, I mistyped it. By Little Fire. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check out Little Fire's levels and it was the second one. Thumbs up. Pretty good level. Just uh, there are these little problematic parts with that. But that's it. Other than that, good job. And that was the end of the. And that's the end of this video because I don't want uh, to make another hour-long video. So I will probably separate the videos into. I mean the let's plays into multiple videos. Maybe one or two levels per video. Depends on how long the levels are. So that's it. Alright, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more gameplay videos and don't forget to submit your levels in the comment section or in the Mega Maker community Facebook page. Um, and I think that's it. So, have a nice day and see you later.